I don't know about you, but I find that it can be a bit of a pain to keep manually clearing the view cache when I'm working on something like a blade directive, because updating a directive doesn't trigger the view file to be recompiled automatically. You can see here I've got a greeting directive in a view, and if I go to update the directive and refresh the page, it doesn't show the updated contents on the page. So I want to show you a bit of an unconventional trick that I like to use once in a while to essentially disable the view cache in its entirety in development so that we don't need to clear it manually when we're doing things like this. If we look at the compiler engine get method, this is what the view factory calls under the hood. For example, if we use the view function or do something else to render a view, this is what's being called. And this method is actually the one that has a check in it that determines if the view needs to be recompiled. It has this check that sees if the compiler thinks that this view file at this path has expired, then it will recompile it. So it sounds like what we need to do is override this is expired check to make sure that it always recompiles. So let's see what that does and how we can override it. We can see that the method is on the compiler. So let's open the blade compiler class to see what's going on. And I happen to know that this method is actually defined on the base compiler class. So let's look at that and see what it does. It's pretty simple really. It checks if the original view's last modified date is more recent than the compiled one. If it is more recent, then it'll return true, which will trigger it to be recompiled. What if we changed this whole method to just return true, so it'd think the cache has always expired and then always needs to be recompiled? It sounds like that'd solve our problems. Well, we obviously don't want to change the files in our vendor directory. So let's make a new file in our app directory. I'm going to stick it in the view namespace so we end up with app view blade compiler, but really it can go wherever you want. Our new class is going to extend the base blade compiler and override the is expired check that we saw in it. And I'm just going to alias this as base blade compiler for clarity. Now we want to override that is expired method. And it sounds like all we want to do here is return true again. But let's be a little bit smarter than that. We probably wouldn't want to always return true, because then our views wouldn't be cached in production, which would give us a performance hit. So by default, let's return the functionality of the base blade compiler. So now this will behave exactly the same as the base blade compiler. But now we can make an additional check here to see if we have config to say that our application is in debug mode and then return true. But if it's not in debug mode, we can still fall back to whatever the default behavior is, so our views will still be cached in production. The last thing we need to do is register our new compiler in place of the old one. If we do a quick search for new blade compiler in our vendor directory, we can actually see exactly what Laravel does to register the normal one. We can just copy and paste this into our own service provider. Making sure to use our own custom compiler class instead. I'm also going to make sure to import the dynamic component class because it's using that. Let's quickly clear up our tabs a minute. I'm just going to put a die and dump statement in our custom compiler just so that we can prove it's being called and that our custom logic's being run. Now we can see it's hitting that die and dump statement just as we wanted. And if we go back and look at what our directive is again, and we refresh the page, we can see that it's displaying exactly what we wanted. And we can change this no matter how many times we want. And now we can see it's automatically updated. We don't need to manually clear the view cache or resave the view file. So that's a trick I like to use when I'm working heavily on Blade Directives, and hopefully it helps you out too.